Okay guys, I'm going to show you real quick how to burn the bootloader on a Rambo board um, using either the Atmel AVR ISP Mark II programmer or you can use a USB Tiny or there's a number of other ones that you can use. On the Rambo board you'll see there are two ICSP connectors. Uh, this one here is for the 32U2 chip. You don't want to mess with this one. The one that we're going to be burning our bootloader onto is the one located right next to the big black processor on here, the Mega 2560. This little six pin connector here is what you're going to take the cable from your programmer. And if you'll notice, there's a red wire on one side. That red wire goes furthest away from the chip. And if you look at the solder mask, there's a little number one down there. So you plug that in, and then plug in your programmer, and this particular one doesn't power the board, so we need another USB cable just plugged in to actually power up our Rambo board so that it can take the upload. So now you see we got our power LEDs on. And from here, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and use Arduino to burn the new bootloader. And once you have the bootloader burned on there, you can then upload firmware using USB. Um, there was a glitch in the matrix, we'll call it, that when we flashed firmware at the shop with the programmer, the script actually overwrote and erased the bootloader that was on the chip and so that's why some people were getting boards that had a problem where they could not re-upload firmware using the USB because the bootloader was erased when the board got programmed. Okay so using Arduino in this version 1.0.5 we're gonna choose our board type as an Arduino Mega 2560 and that's the same processor that's on the Rambo board. Next thing we need to do is come down and choose the right programmer. Here I've got AVR ISP Mark II, USB Tiny, but we're going to use the AVR. And then just click on Burn Bootloader. It could take up to a minute or so, so um, just be patient. And as long as you've got the USB cable plugged into the Rambo and the programmer plugged into the ICSP socket, uh, you should uh, be good to go. Here any minute now you'll see done burning bootloader and now you can upload firmware using uh, the USB port on the Rambo board.